All right, guys, thanks for clicking on the video. So I'm at Beth Francis Powerhouse Gym right now, and they used to have a nice posing room, but they actually just redid it, and there is a new posing room. I don't know if you can see it around here, but there's like nice mirrors everywhere. So I'm going to do a quick little physique update, see how I look in this lighting. But first, I'm gonna take you through my latest uh, overhead press workout, and if you want to see the posing update, stay for the rest of the video. What's going on everyone? Hopefully some of you guys are watching this part of the video. Um, since I did say the physique update is at the end, it's amazing how these physique update videos always get so many more views than the rest of my videos. It kind of makes me feel like I should just include a physique update in every single video, but you guys would probably get a little bit bored of that, or maybe not. Um, so the workout footage is going to be really short, it's only about three minutes, so what I wanted to do is just give three tips on overhead presses. Now, there's more than three tips I can give you guys. These three tips are stuff that you don't really take time. You don't really need to take time to implement them. You can really implement them in your next workout, and you should notice an immediate result um, rather than like a technique that you'll need to practice for several weeks before you get used to it. First one is your grip. Make sure your grip is not too narrow, not too wide. Here's a good angle where you can see how I go. I've experimented going narrower and wider, and I found that when I go too wide, I lose power, and when I go too narrow. I don't, uh, I lose strength as well because my, I'm just not in a proper position. So slightly wider than shoulder width seems to be the appropriate grip width for me. And that's what I recommend. So you can see here, right here, it's a good angle to see where I put my grip. Uh, next two tips are very simple, but make a huge impact on your overhead press. First one is make sure you squeeze your glutes. It sounds silly and it's not even as easy as it sounds, but when you squeeze your glutes, your entire body gets more stable and you feel like you're just pressing from a much stronger base. Uh, I'm still not great at it. I'll squeeze them for the first couple of reps, then I forget and I start losing tightness. And as soon as I squeeze them again, I feel a lot better. Definitely squeeze your glutes. Second tip is kind of similar to the first one, or I mean the second one, and that's squeeze the bar as hard as you can. I know that also sounds silly, and that's something that I also struggle with, but the harder you squeeze the bar, the stronger you are. Because when you're squeezing the bar stronger, you're not really losing any power. Uh, I don't really have a great explanation for this other than just trust me and squeeze the bar as tight as you can. So pretty much just to wrap up, grip width slightly wider than shoulder width, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can, squeeze the bar as hard as you can. By squeezing those two things, you're going to remain a lot more stable because when you do overhead presses, I mean, you're standing up, so you, it's very easy to lose balance, lose stability. So by squeezing those two things, you'll be a lot more stable and a lot stronger throughout. But the workout footage is wrapping up. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the physique update is coming here at the end. Uh, we have a new posing room that kind of liked it, so I don't feel like my physique has really changed too much since the last time that I did one of these, but you guys seem to like them, and I like doing it for myself to monitor progress, so hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video and the next clip.
Alright, so we're done posing, and the worst part about the posing is I just did cardio, this thing is absolutely drenched, and I have to put it back on. Oh, it's so disgusting. Ugh. It's cold, wet, soggy. <laughs> Thanks for clicking on the video. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one.